Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory that's due unto Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Makak, Kodash. Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world even calls God. Bahashom is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this world even calls Jesus. The Rakak Kodash is the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. And also, I want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, that the Lord has set forth on this earth to lead and guide and be great examples for the nation of Israel. And also, I want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that's believing and that's serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom. And I'm a brother Gabar from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp. And I'm coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai and Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. All right. And Lord willing, this title will be called Never Trust Him. All right. Again, never trust him. And what inspired me to do this lesson, just meditating on a particular question that this gentleman asked yesterday uh, while we was at camp. All right, and he asked, are all so-called white people um, bad? And first of all, you know, there is no such thing as a white person or a black person. That's something that Esau Edom, you know, made up, all right? Because when you look at so-called white people, we look at their skin, their skin is a, is a remnant of a color between pink between pink and red. So they're not white, okay? And second of all, that Israel, we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So you're gonna have Israelites looking like so-called white people, all right? You have Israelites looking like the other nations, okay? And that's why John, 1 John 4 and 1, it says, try the spirit by the spirit and see whether they are of God. All right. So that's another thing. OK, you're going to have white people that's Israelites. OK, such as Eminem, such as Dirk Nowitzki, such as Luca Donick. All right. Such as uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. All right. These are Israelites. OK, so I just want to pull out a few scriptures, you know, um, proving that all Edomites, because that's that's the better question. Are all Edomites? wicked okay and according to the scriptures is yes okay and i'm gonna pull out a few precepts supporting that answer all right this is psalm chapter 58 and verse 3 and it reads the wicked are estranged from the womb okay and east all edom the so-called white nation they are known as the wicked according to the bible all right and let me get a quick precept backing that up this is Job chapter 9 and verse 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked okay and who's currently running the world all right starting with the the so-called jews man all right amalek all right and you, you look at your look at your dollar bill who whose face is on on those all right edomites so-called white people all right he says so the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covers the faces of the ju judges thereof, if not, where and who is he? All right, so Yahweh Bashim al Shai is giving us clues. Who's, who's, uh, who, who've covered the faces of the judges? All right, and who's the main judge? Our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Okay, so that's, so that's easy. That's the so called white nation. All right, you don't see the so called Chinese man, you know, covering the faces of Yahweh Shai covering the faces of Moses and King David, all right, and Peter and Joshua and, you know, and Noah, okay? When you when you look online and you look up our great forefathers, they're so-called white men, all right? So that's talking about the so-called white nation, okay? So let's go back to Psalms. Psalms chapter 58 and 3, because when people... When we say these things, you know, people are expecting to read the Bible and to be like, the so-called white man, he's the devil. Nah, 
the Lord, he gives you uh, clues, man. All right. And you got to put two and two together. So this is Psalm 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they as they be born speaking lies. So you how about Shemal Rashad is saying when they come out the womb, they're already wicked. Okay? And that's the way that how about Shemal Rashad formed them. He 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 formed them to be wicked. All right, and like the scripture says, can a leopard change his spots all right that's how the most high created that leopard okay and that's the same way that yahweh shemel shah he created the wicked and there's no change in that okay let's get another precept this is psalms 55 and 21 the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. And this is speaking about Esau Edom. It says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. And, and that's, a, uh, that's a part of his deception, okay? By using, you know, using big words, you know, talking all elegant, you know? And, and, that's, how, and that's how they move. Even when you're at your job site, you know, uh, Esau, you know, he'd be like, hey, buddy, how you doing? You know, da, 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 act all nice in your face. But the next minute you ain't around, he calling you a nigger. All right. You fired or something like that. All right. And that's and that's the way that, that, that they get down. OK, but by deception. And that's the way that they're um, deceiving the mass of this world by deception. OK, by their media. Media goes into medium, all right. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, and it says, but war was in his heart, you know, and hey, that's the job of these Edomites, man. They trying to overthrow you, all right. They trying to destroy you, and it tells you that in Psalms, the eighty third chapter, they come together with one consent, all right, trying to cut us off from being a nation, so. So they have to use deception, all right? They 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 gotta uh, use kind words to you, all right? And it says his words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. See, this is this is the uh, attributes of this man, you know. Let's get another precept. This is Syrac. Chapter 12 and verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. All right? Esau Edom, he is our enemy. And that's popular the contrary belief. Because your enemy is going to tell you that we're all equal. You know? But at the same time, he got your foot. He got his foot on your neck. And to prove that Esau Edom is our enemy. Let's get a precept. This is Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And Egypt is synonymous for a house of bondage. All right, because if you know the history, we didn't go into ancient Egypt by way of ships. So this is talking about modern day Egypt. And look at the dollar bill. That's why they got the Egyptian pyramids. All right. And it says, by the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And that's speaking about our homeland. All right. Jerusalem. And it says unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. So we were sold unto our enemies. And if you read Psalms, the 83rd chapter, it's going to give you a list of our enemies. So we were sold unto our enemies. So not just the white nation are our enemies, the so-called Africans, which our people think that they are. They are enemies. The East Indians, the Arabs, all right, the Hawaiians, all the nations outside of the nation of Israel is our enemies. And even two thirds of our people are our enemies. 
all right? 66.6 of our people, they are enemies because they're, they're against Yahweh Bashem Shai. They're against righteousness. And that's why uh, Proverbs 11 and 21 says, though hand join in hand. Our people are joined unto the, the um, are joined unto the devil, man. All right? And that's why they're going to die here with their father, the devil. But it says, Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye should be sold unto your enemies for a bond man and bond woman, and no man shall buy you. And we're still slaves unto this day. All right? Like it says in Baruch, we are yet this day in our captivity. So March 22nd, 2022, we're still waiting to be free. All right? And we're only going to be free by Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Joe Biden, he's not going to save you. Dr. Fauci, he's not going to save you. Martin Luther King, Tupac, Barack Obama, Donald Trump. None of these men are set up to save you. But let's go back to Syrac 12 and verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. For like an iron is rust, so is his wickedness. All right? And that's why the Lord says, be not hasty to credit a friend. All right? And, and over time, Esau Edom, he's going to show his rust. And a good example, just like Joe Biden. He was saying he was going to do all this once he once he become president. And he ain't do nothing but further destroy our people. And the iron rust, that, that's a good analogy. Because you get some, you buy some new iron, it's gonna be looking shiny. But watch over over a period of time. That iron starts to rust. And that's the same way with Esau Edom. Because he's going to come in with his deception. He's going to come in acting like he's buddy-buddy. He's friends with you. But at the same time, you know, he's trying to destroy you. You know? And that's what Christianity has done to our people. Destroyed our people. They tell you that the law has been done away with. They tell you that our Lord and Savior look like a so-called white man. These is lies and deception. And that's why you have Bashim al tells you never trust your enemy. What, what, what has Esau Edom done that, that was good for our people? Nothing. Put drugs in our communities. They feed us GMO food, fluoride water. All right, we breathing in chemtrails. They rape, rob this, they rape, rob and murder to get this land. They broke all the, 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 the treaties with the natives, which is the tribe of Gad. They on reservations. And I'm gonna close out with one last precept. Let me get uh, Revelations 12 and verse 7. And it reads, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And that dragon again is going back to Esau Edom. And it says, And the dragon fought against his angels. And you see, and this is time they'll be coming into. And that's why these devils are creating the space force. Why do you think that these people are creating the space force? Because they, under, they understand the prophecies, okay? They know that Yahweh Shai and the angels are coming back. And Esau, Edom, he's going to try to fight against the Most High, all right, and his son and the angels. See, this is how proud that these devils are. He says, verse 8, And prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And they're going to be taken out of rulership. They're, they are no longer going to deceive the whole world. It said they prevail not. All right. So their new world order is not going to come to pass. You know. So Esau Edom is on his way out, man. All right. 
We gonna be next to rule, not Russia, not China, not uh, uh, North Korea or South Korea. The Israelites, man. All right, and the Lord says we gonna rule forever and ever. We gonna rule over these nations. We gonna rule them with the rod of iron. The Lord says that the nations that shall not serve me shall perish. Righteousness will be established on the earth. And I'm going to close out with one last precept. This is 2 Peter chapter 3 and 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth when dwelleth righteousness and that's what we looking for we're not looking for this place to go back to, to quote unquote normal we ain't looking for things to die back down alright cause this empire gotta fall in order, in order to the kingdom of heaven to be established here on earth two two uh two people Two nations can't rule at once. All right? Esau, Edom, he's going to go down. Nation of Israel is going to rise. That's, that's, that's balance. Okay? We're going to receive justice. Because we, we haven't got justice. All right? I'm going to read that one more time. Nevertheless, we according to his promise. And this is a promise from Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, the Lord says he's not slack concerning his promise. The Lord says in 2nd Ezra 15 that these words are faithful and true. And it says, look for new heavens and a new earth when dwelleth righteousness, right? Because this land is defiled. Okay? They're, 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 these so called Jews, they're defiling our land in, in, in Israel. And that's why that place is going to be. That's why that place is going to be destroyed, man. And the Lord is going to start. We're going to start over. All right. America will never be inhabited again. And that's according to Malachi 4 and 1. Shall leave neither root nor branch. And this is a promise from me. How about Shemal Shai? All right. So I'm going to close out with that. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. And I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring in his work. You know, truth and his sincerity. I want to say Shalom to you, brothers, and also I want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that's believing and that's serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom at the water. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, forgive me the spirit to make this lesson. Lord willing, until the next lesson. I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ball, DTA.